When I was a kid, I watched a lot of cartoons. And sometimes cartoons would contain really weird props or costumes, and I'd ask my parents about them, and they'd say, oh, that was just some weird old-timey thing. Well, let's look at some of those. For starters, why does a cartoon bomb look like this, when everyone knows a real bomb looks more like this? Well, according to the website Atlas Obscura, who did an in-depth investigation of this, bombs actually did look like this back in the days when most warfare was done by cannon. What we now think of as bombs were originally just hollow cannonballs filled with gunpowder with a fuse that you would light before firing. Except the fuse would be inside the ball, not dangling out of the top. They go on to say that in the late 19th century, there was a high-profile anarchist terrorist who was caught in Chicago in the possession of one of these bombs. This led to round bombs becoming associated with terrorists in editorial cartoons, and then eventually just bad guys of any sort in cartoons of any sort. Now how about stripy suits for prisoners? These too actually existed at one time, and still exist in some places today. The idea has long been that prisoners should wear some sort of outlandish outfit so that they're easy to identify, both inside of the prison and in case they escape. This is why so many prisoners wear neon orange today. But beginning in the 19th century, when prisons started to get larger and more sophisticated, it was stripes that were common. In England, they apparently made prisoners wear this weird arrow pattern, seen here in the form of these sexy Halloween costumes. Anyway, by the mid-20th century, striped uniforms had started to become unpopular because they were associated with all sorts of old-time prison indignities, like chain gangs and the Holocaust. So new outfits were devised. But in America, a lot of this sort of thing is set by the county or the state, so you still do see prison uniforms with stripes from time to time. For example, this is what prisoners wear in Polk County, Texas. By the way, I used to think that the reason why this stereotypical cartoon cartoon robber wore a stripy shirt was because he was supposed to be a prisoner on the lamb. But no, I recently learned that this is actually just an old-timey stereotype from England about how sailors were often criminals. And talking of England, ever wonder why liquor in cartoons always comes in bottles with three X's on it? Well, in the 19th century, this was how British breweries marked the strength of their liquor. One X was the least strong, three X's was the strongest. Or at least that's what I learned from the book Who Put the Butter in Butterfly. I didn't get much useful information when I googled triple X and bottle. Now, cartoon characters often get crushed by big, heavy things that are just like big blocks with the weight written on them. Sometimes these are just supposed to be exaggerated versions of so-called standard weights, which are just these tiny little things made of metal that you would use to determine how heavy something was on an old-fashioned scale. But recently I learned that sometimes at construction sites, people will paint the weight of a big chunk of stone on the side of it, so that other construction site people don't break their machines when they try to lift it up or whatever. And lastly, how about those weird things that doctors wear on their heads? I've actually been to a doctor who's used one of these things. They're not that uncommon. How it works is the doctor flips it down over one eye and then looks through the little hole in the middle. Because the thing is made of mirrored metal, it can help reflect light as he checks up on your various head cavities. I mean, he could just wear a hat with a lamp in it, but then people might think he was a mole. There are so many other weird cartoon things left to discuss. I often think that I might like to make a website about this someday. And yes, I know that TV Tropes already exists. But yeah, let me know if there's any other weird cartoon things that you'd like to learn the story behind. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.